so I just got it finished up earlier today um, I had a little whoopsie so I delayed this video actually two days so I went to put the flywheel cover on it didn't fit correctly so I got the other one which is the one actually from this engine and actually long story short I had to wait on a new coil because the other flywheel shroud had a little thing there and it hit the coil and cracked it so I had to wait on a new coil I had one on here and it ran but not very good because it didn't have enough spark uh, something I did however do is behind the flywheel I ended up actually kind of slicing out a little bit more here so that it would get a little bit more air for that radiator um, other than that not much has really been done I made my own decals for it like I do on pretty much everything I can't make a decal big enough for the dash so I just kind of left that be couldn't find a steering wheel cap so I just kind of left that be for now so doesn't really look too bad luckily the rest of it's really nice and shiny and don't don't really think of that so electric three-point hitch works this actuator is a little bit smaller than I wanted but it works you have to have the engine running to power it because I hooked it up directly to the uh, charging system on the engine there's two wires there's one wire that would go to the lights and then there's one wire that goes to the battery to charge it I hooked this to the wire that would go to the lights and uh, so that way it doesn't run the battery dead and this thing doesn't use a whole lot of power anyway and with the lights they were working so as you can see the rear one works and uh, check this out look at that one headlight again so apparently the way I wire these those headlights don't like it so let me try to get this hood open see if I'm doing something wrong or something with the headlights so the blue wire is the ground wire it just goes down there to the frame it just tees off and red wire comes in it splits off and goes to the other headlight it comes down and then goes back up to the other headlight so I'm not sure why it keeps blowing and it's only this one here that blows on like every single tractor I don't get it uh, careful shutting the hood because it kind of scratches the dash every time I do that um, I'll latch it after I shut the camera off because it takes like both hands to latch the thing once as it gets latched it's really hard to get back off so yeah this is it um, and this is actually an original roper seat from uh, 78 or 79 I guess it's 79 and somehow it lasted that long without a single crack in it which is kind of impressive um, I'm gonna plan on using this tractor but not for anything real um, real intensive I'm just gonna kind of go easy on it since it's so since it's so clean and kind of feel bad kind of destroying it so well, here's some uh, more pictures of it, and thanks for watching.